CBS News. Now on CBS News, up to the minute. Let's hope for the best. Let's pray for the best that all Arthur cleans, uh, clears out quickly so we can all get back to celebrating our country's independence. Arthur makes landfall in North Carolina, striking the vulnerable Outer Banks as the strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. in six years, continuing up the coast just as Americans begin the long holiday weekend. We're walking maybe a little more briskly than we were uh, six months ago. I don't know if we're running just yet, but we're getting there. The economy stuns experts, adding hundreds of thousands of new jobs and sends the Dow surging past the 17,000 mark to a new high. It's Independence Day, Friday, July 4th, 2014. This is CBS News Up to the Minute. I'm Anne Marie Green. Hurricane Arthur has made landfall in North Carolina, coming ashore on the Outer Banks late last night. Right now, the Category 2 hurricane is packing winds of 100 miles per hour after strengthening in the evening. As the holiday weekend begins, the hurricane is creating a host of problems for revelers and cities alike as they watch for Arthur's next move. Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher from our Boston station, WBZ, is tracking the storm. Well, we have a hurricane, a significant hurricane, making landfall in the Outer Banks. Arthur is the first hurricane of...